بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد. All right. Let's continue our reading of Sahih Muslim. We were in the section of the Book of Purification. We were dealing with wudu. Let's begin. We are in chapter seven. It was narrated from Amr bin Yahya bin Umara, from his father, from Abdullah bin Zaid bin Asim al Ansari, who was the companion of the Prophet, peace be upon him. He said, "It was said to him, perform wudu for us as the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, did it." He called for a vessel of water and poured some of it onto his hands. And wash them three times. Notice the three there. Then he put his hand in and brought it out, and rinsed his mouth and nose, using one handful, and he did that three times. Then he put his hand in and brought it out, and washed his face three times. Then he put his hand in and brought it out, and washed his hands up to the elbows, washing. Each one twice. Notice the twice there. Then he put his hand in and brought it out, and wiped his head, moving his hands forwards and backwards. Then he washed his feet, up to the ankles. Then he said, "This is how the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, performed wudu." A similar report, number five hundred fifty-five, was narrated from Amr bin Yahya, with this chain. But he did not say up to the ankles. It was narrated from Amr bin Yahya with this chain, a similar report as number five hundred fifty-five, and he said he rinsed his mouth and nose three times, but he did not say with one handful. And after the words, moving his hand back and forth, he added, he started at the front of his head, then moved them towards the nape of his neck. And he brought them back to where he had started, and he washed his feet. It was narrated from Amr bin Yahya with a chain similar to theirs, and he quoted the hadith number five hundred fifty-five and said, "He rinsed his mouth, snuffed water into his nostrils with three handfuls. He also said he wiped his head, moved his hands forwards and backwards, once." Buzz said. Wahab dedicated this hadith to me, and Wahab said Amr bin Yahya dedicated this hadith to me twice. Oh, sorry, not dedicated, dictated. Forgive me. <laughs> like what? Oh, that's funny. Abdullah bin Zaid bin Asim al Mazani al Ansari said that he saw the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, performing wudu. He rinsed his mouth. Then his nose, then he washed his face three times, his right hand up to the forearm three times, and the other three times, wiped his head with water. Other than what was left on his hand, and washed his feet until he had cleaned them. That one's a little bit more short. Chapter eight: Odd numbers when rinsing the nose and cleaning oneself with pebbles. Istigmar. Okay, fam. Let's spell I S T I J M A R. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet peace be upon him said, "When any one of you cleans himself with pebbles, let him use an odd number, and when any one of you performs wudu, let him put water in his nostrils. Then let him blow it out." Okay, so we have. Odd number. So you wipe yourself three times, and if you have a bidet, you know what a bidet is—the water sprays out. You do it maybe at one time. If you use, like, you get, like, you if your sink is close to your toilet, you get a little paper towel. No, sorry, not paper towel. Toilet paper. Get it wet and then use that at the end. Use like you know one time, three times, and then dry it three times. You know, just. Essentially, getting at odd numbers. 
It was narrated that Hamam bin Munabih said, This is what Abu Huraira told us from Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. Then he mentioned a number of ahadith, including the following. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, When one of you performs wudu, let him put water in his nostrils, then blow it out. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whoever performs wudu, let him rinse out his nose, and whoever cleans himself with pebbles, let him use an odd number. It was narrated from Ibn Shihab that Abu Idris al-Hawlani said that he heard Abu Huraira and Abu Sa'id al-Qudri say, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, narrating something similar to 562. Okay. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When one of you awakens from sleep, let him rinse his nose three times, for the shaitan spends the night on his nose. I remember that one. And you know, you, you have mocos. Oh, sorry, that means boogers in Spanish. You have dust, flies, you know, you ever had a spider go up your nose? Or some dumb little fruit fly? It's quite annoying. You never know if they get up in there. And I, if you look at some of the insect world with parasites, where they can lay their eggs, you just never know, man. Killed a fly like two weeks ago. Had a bunch of weird bugs all over it, like little babies maybe. It's disgusting. Then, you, sometimes you can hit a baby, a baby spider, and then you hit the mama spider, and all these baby ones pop out. You just never know where certain insects will lay their eggs. Blech. There's like one bug called an earwig, and they used to crawl on people's ears. You know, ugh, it's horrible. You know, if we lived more around trees and bushes and stuff, like outdoors sleeping, I think we'd all see the wisdom in rinsing out your nose a lot. Because bugs, man, they like to go everywhere. And the more you clean out your orifices, be, you know, hygienic, the more you push away any type of weird parasite grabbing a hold of you or something weird. Jabir bin Abdullah said, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, When one of you cleans himself with pebbles, let him use an odd number. Chapter 9 The Obligation of Washing the Feet Completely It was narrated that Salim, the freed slave of Shaddad, said, I entered upon Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, on the day that Sa'ad bin Abi Waqas died, and Abdur Rahman bin Abi Bakr came in and performed wudu in her house. She said, O oh, Abdur Rahman, perform wudu properly, for I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, Go to the hills from the fire. Oh yeah, yeah. That one is very interesting, right? If you build a house from scratch, put in like a shorter fountain area, like we can rinse your feet off. That'd be pretty cool. If you have an extended, like my shower nozzle, you can take it off the wall, has like a link to it. Stick your foot, like you wash your feet at the end, right? So maybe you can do a do. You can go over there, spray it, you never know. Or just try to do your best with what you have. But if you're building a home, it'd be cool to have like a bathroom where you can press a pump, you know, like a faucet or turn it on or whatever. And then there's like a place for you to wash your feet. Be pretty awesome. Abu Abdullah, the freed slave of Shaddad bin Al Had, narrated that he entered upon Aisha and he narrated a similar hadith to 566 from her, from the Prophet, peace be upon him. Salim, the freed slave of Al Mahri, said, Abdul Rahman bin Abi Bakr and I went out in the funeral procession of Sa'ad bin Abi Waqas. And we passed by the door of Aisha's apartment. And he narrated something similar as number 566 from her, from the Prophet, peace be upon him. Interesting. Yeah, so Aisha's just trying to make sure everyone's doing their would do properly. Got it on lock. 
watch out for the heels because on the day of judgment you want them heels protected using odd number of pebbles cleaning out your nose mashallah we learned a lot hope you're having a good day